Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to review Superman and Lois Season 3 Episode 1. The episode was named Closer and was more like an introduction to the new dynamics of the whole world and Smallville and showed us how much everyone has grown closer after the two worlds almost ended. One of the sad things about Season 3 is that they didn't show us anything of what they teased in the Season 2 finale related to Jonathan especially. As Clark was seen saying that Jonathan would really like some Kryptonian tech that her grandmother has in the fortress for him. But looks like with Jordan Elsis, this also was left out. Jonathan and Jordan both had their birthdays, where Clark and Lewis are also expecting to be pregnant as Lewis was following up on a lead on Bruno Mayhem and was warned about having chances of being pregnant by dead John's sister. It was a really peaceful episode leaving two three places as Jordan was being taught how to fly and Jonathan was having his driving test in which he passed apparently. But then Jordan goes rogue where he hears a crane fall and has the situation under control as Clark gets there in time. Honestly, it was a bad day for him now as Sarah isn't dating him anymore. But yes, she wants to hang out with him and wants to be friends. When he brings her a cute gift all the way from Malaysia, she points the friend thing out and makes Jordan feel awkward. The thing is that Jordan still loves her and wants to be with her. And he does get mad and just ignores her in the party. The party seems to be going really well. But then Lana gets a visit from Dean as she's using some funds of who knows where Dean kept them for some repairs in the school. On the other side, we see the Atom Smasher returning in Metropolis, reaching havoc and he's way more powerful than was before. Like he has the same powers as Superman and can also fly. But then when Superman and Atom Smasher are fighting, the Atom Smasher gets killed by a weird faced creep who distracts Superman and takes the body. Then in the end, we see the real person behind all of this, who is obviously Bruno, who has some kind of drug that brings the Atom back to life. So it's going to be a hell of a season for sure. Lewis also gets a call that she's not pregnant and has to get some tests done to figure out what's happening. But personally, I think it's a trap and she is really pregnant in real. We will find out in the next episode for sure. So guys, stay tuned until then. And if you guys enjoy, please like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you.